It is Friday, March 1st, and that means it is sexual championship night for boys basketball across Northwest Ohio. And we are at St. Mary's tonight, a pair of Western Buckeye League foes as the Kent Wildcats are here to play the St. Mary's Memorial Rough Riders. My name is Mark Shine. My pleasure to be play by play alongside Josiah Stober. Josiah Kenton comes in at 11 and 11. They were 11 and 8 just a couple of weeks ago. Three losses to end the season, but a team is playing well up until that particular point. Yeah, a team that really wants to start this tournament run here with some productivity here, especially, you know, as the team goes on, they got to take care of the ball tonight, and they got to find some, e way, some, find some easy ways to get some easy buckets. St. Mary's, they come in at 16 and 6, 6 and 3. They're on a little bit of an opposite run for them. They have won four in a row. They have won seven out of their last eight. They had a nine-point loss to Elida in there, but uh, that's a nice spell for them and very typical to Coach Hagemeyer team. They're coming on as the season is starting to wind down. Yeah, they're playing really well here to finish out the year. And, you know, it's been really the Jace Turner and Evan Engsman show as it's been all year long. You know, Evan Engsman coming in averaging just over 20 points a game. Jace Turner 13.6. So they got to find ways to get the ball into both of those guys' hands tonight. St. Mary's and Kenton played in the Western Buckeye League game on February 2nd, just four weeks ago. St. Mary's won that game 59-51, and in that game, they made 10 three-point field goals, so obviously a point of emphasis for Kenton trying to take that away this evening. Yeah, they got to find some ways to get some hands up on those shooters, not allow St. Mary's to get going early. Let's look at our starting lineups tonight for the Kenton Wildcats. Ryan Miller's team, they're 11-11 on the season. They average 55.5 points per game. They give up 55.9. They will start number two, Blaine Bushong. He's a 5'6 sophomore, averaging 7.9 points per game. Number 25 is Gavin Payne. He's a second-team all-conference player. He's 6'4 senior at 13.5 points per game and 6.6 .6 rebounds. Number four is Ethan Yoder. He is a 6'4 senior also. Third team all-conference, 11.9 points per game and 7.2 rebounds for him. Dawson Miller wears number 13, six-foot junior, averaging 6.4. And number zero is Stephen Piper. He is a six-foot junior, averaging 9.2 points per game. For the St. Mary's Rough Riders, Coach Hagemeyer's team, they're scored at 60.1 points per game. They give up 49 and a half. They have a third team all-conference player in number one, Noah Payne, 6'3 junior, averaging 8.8 and 2.4 assists. Number five is Cobain Owens. He is a 6'1 senior, 7.4 points per game, 3.6 assists. 13 is uh, Alex Haney. Haney is a 6'1 junior. He averages under six points a game. And then all conference players, first team conference, Evan Engsman. He wears number 24. He's a 6'7 senior. He averages 20.8 points per game. He, he also gets 4.6 rebounds. He has made 68 three-point field goals on the season. And second-team all-conference player, Jace Turner, is 6'7 senior. He averages 13.6 points per game and eight rebounds. It is sectional championship night. The winner will move on to the Liberty Benton District where they will play the 6 p.m. game next week. That will be on Wednesday night. They will play the winner of Elida and Defiance, who are playing at this time as well. We've given you the starting laps. We've set the game for you. It's sexual championship basketball. It's coming up next. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to the Horseshoe here at St. Mary's, where tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. Our officials this evening, Truman Clater, Tyson Snitke, and Jerry Hatcher. We've had a lengthy, uh, is that a polite way to say it, Josiah? A lengthy introduction of starting lineups here, and we're finally ready to play basketball. Sectional final night between the St. Mary's Royal Rough Riders and the Kenton Wildcats. St. Mary's in white. They will go from right to left on your screen. Kenton's in the black uniforms with the red and white trim. Headed to the jump circle. We'll have Jace Turner matched up with inside with Ethan Yoder. And we're getting ready to play basketball. Susan, everybody get your jersey tucked in. It's tournament time, Josiah. They do not let little things slide in tournament games. Yeah, we really have good officiating crew here tonight. Looking forward to this battle of teams that know each other very well and should be exciting as we're ready for the tip. Ball's tipped in the backcourt. Good hustle play that time. Getting the ball away, though, was uh, zero. Stephen Piper into the rim. And, nope, we're going to get a travel. Piper jumped the tip. 
a good pass, but then traveled. So basketball goes to St. Mary's and advancing the ball is Cobain Owens. This is Haney. And now Anksman, top of the circle. Haney looking inside to Turner and cannot get it there. So Noah Payne comes out and gets it. Yeah, we see Kenton staying off of Haney a little bit as Noah Payne shoots a three. Anksman gets the rebound and tries to bring it back out. Skip pass around, Owens. Anksman pull up jumper from 15. He has the first basket of the game. Averages 20.8 points per game. Yeah, good shot fake there by Anksman. Get his man up in the air and knocks down the long two. And then he gets a steal. Anksman head to the rim, and he's got four points in the game, and St. Mary's off to a great start. Bushong under pressure from Haney, gets it across midcourt. Five counts going. He does get it picked up in time. This is Dawson Miller, and over into the corner it goes to Kevin Payne. Stephen Piper. This will be a three ball from Bushong. Hard off the rim, Haney rebounds. Owens, off the screen comes Payne. Owens for three. And rebound all comes into Gavin Payne's hands. Up the other way we go, here's Payne. He ball fakes, goes to the rim, scoop shot, a little hard and Turner rebounds. Yeah, good take there by the Kenton Wildcats, just unable to finish at the end. See, they're trying to surround people in the low post. They've got Turner bottled up inside. He's going to take a three-up jump out of the corner, and the rebound will come to Dawson Miller. Yeah, Coach Miller okay with Haney shooting those long shots, sagging off him quite a bit. Ball fake, head to the rim is Bushong. Anksman gets his hand on yet another ball. No, that was Turner guy's hand on the ball, and Turner got it again. Boy, the hands are active. And reverse layup, and that one goes a little bit hard for Dawson Miller. But the steals made of Gavin Payne. Payne gets a nice pass, and Gavin Payne will have the first basket for the Wildcats off a feed from Miller. Yeah, we see Kenton trying to get the ball on a turnover quickly up the court and able to find Payne for the easy layup. Chase Turner. Now Cobain Owens off a screen to Turner. He finds a cutting Haney, and that one's left a little bit short. Rebound to Ethan Yoder. Yeah, good pass into Haney, just unable to finish with that left hand. Ball goes back to Ken. Ball's tipped out of bounds by Turner, but he tipped it off the hand of Gavin Payne. We get our subs in the game. Number 23, Brennan Stager will enter for St. Mary's. And the number one, Corbin Johnston, will enter for Kenton. Run out the trap, Owens, he saw it and got rid of it first. Pass in the corner, this is Stager who just came into the game. And Anksman hurried him but tipped it out of bounds. 4.34 to go. Yeah, Stager finding himself wide open there as his man was down in the paint but just unable to knock down the three. It's a tough shot, we just come off the bench. You know, you want to get up and down the floor a couple of times, break a sweat and get going, that's a, that's a difficult shot. Gavin Payne, this is Corbin Johnson just came in a moment ago. And into the corner it goes to Piper, three ball. Long rebound, there's Steger with a rebound. This jumper is going to go up from Noah Payne. Noah Payne lights the lamp. He's got 40 of those on the season now. now St. Mary's not wasting any time. Get the ball quickly up to Noah Payne. He knocks down the big three. Ball fake and go to the rim move. That's Piper. He just knocked out of bounds. Seven to two on our Leeds Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. 3.51 to go. Opening quarter of the sectional final game. Corbin Johnston will be the inbounder, 6'2 junior, averaging just under five a game. And he has to throw it way out on top, he does. Ethan Yoder, and then they finally put it into the hands of Stephen Piper, and into the corner by to Gavin Payne. 
That ball's tipped loose. Owens headed to the rim. Cobain Owens will be fouled. I was saying that a couple times tonight. St. Mary's getting their hands into the passing lanes. Cobain Owens does a great job, gets the steal, and draws some contact on the other end. Stephen Piper picks up his first foul of the basketball game, first for either team. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton, online at kentonmoose428.com. Owens makes the first free throw. He's an 80% free throw shooter on the season, makes the first one. Dawson Miller re-enters. And the second. And the lead goes to 9-2. To Bush on. Beats the traffic and lost handle of the basketball. Owens has numbers headed the other way. Here's Turner inside. And his left-handed shot will not go, but he will also draw contact. And Chase Turner doing a good job of running the floor to the rim. His teammate getting the ball inside, and he goes up, unable to make it, but opportunity to go to the free throw line. Gavin Payne has his first team second of the opening quarter and to the free throw line for Kenton Moose free throws. Chase Turner. Chase is a 73% free throw shooter and makes that one as Stephen Piper comes back into the game and Blaine Bushong gets a break. 10-2 early on, Riders. That one's a bit short, rebound. Secured by Yoder. Corbin Johnston, now Yoder. Yoder backs it out with Angstman guarding him. Here's a three that'll go up. Missed it. Backside rebound to Steger. We've had one made three-point field goal in the opening quarter. Our three-point field goals are sponsored by Donovan's Garage in St. Mary's. They can handle any size job from oil changes, simple auto repairs, brakes and tires, engine and transmission work. That three was by Noah Payne. Here's Owens, and Cobain Owens goes to the rim. Nope, has to bring it back out. Instead, Turner gets a look at three. Rebound, Dawson Miller. And Chase Turner stepping out a little bit from beyond. Once again, there's Evan oh, Angsman yeah, with that, that. that length. Gets a hand on the ball, almost gets another steal, but the ball goes out of bounds back to the Wildcats. Good point, Josiah. That length is bothering Kenton. Here's Yoder. Trying to get inside. Ball fakes, goes off glass. Nope, but he will get to go to the free throw line. Evan Angsman. Gets the first foul into the free throw line. We'll go Ethan Yoder, a 71% free throw shooter on the season. Kenton Moose free throw sponsor this evening. Yoder averages just under 12 points a game, was a third point all conference player this year. 7.2 rebounds, three assists, two steals. Second free throw for Yoder. That one he makes, it's 10-3 now, Riders. Half-court trap coming. Oh, Ken coming out with that 1-2-2 two, two out of that free throw. Just backing up, but see if they trap here. It looks like they're trying to speed up this Rough Riders team a little bit, but St. Mary's does a good job. Go back man-to-man. -man. This is Steger with the basketball. And on top it goes to Payne, and around to Anksman for three. Just a bit hard. Tip loose but into the hands of Corbin Johnston. Thought that was down from our angle. Yeah, it looked like the ball was going straight to the rim. Just bounced off a little bit hard. Payne goes inside and scores. Gavin Payne's got both field goals for Kenton here in the opening quarter. Cuts the lead down to 10 to 5. Steger in the corner. Steger gets a three look. Brendan Steger has a Donovan's Garage three-point field goal. Makes it 13 to five. And yeah, that shot looked a little bit 
better than his first. As you said, a little bit warmer coming in, playing a couple minutes here, knocks down the big three. Here's a three out of the corner, and that one will go. Three, Steven yeah, Piper. Man. He's got 29 of those on the season. Another Donovan's Garage three-point field goal. Appreciate coaches who get us stats and information so we can highlight some of the things young players have done this year. Steger on top. Payne. Steger's going to get another. Oh, goes to the rim instead. Boy, are they good at ball faking, Coach. See if they're playing last shot of the quarter here now. Owens comes off a screen. Tries to bounce it inside and stole it. Here's Johnston the other way. Payne's going to get another three. Look, oh, that was blocked by Turner. Yoder goes to the rim, and Yoder shot's blocked. Tipped out. Steger ends up with the basketball, but that ends the opening eight minutes. St. Mary's 13. Kenton 8, you're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Horseshoe here at St. Mary's Memorial High School. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Opening quarter, 13 for St. Mary's and 8 for the Kenton Wildcats. As we see St. Mary's, really that length has made it difficult for this Wildcats team to get any offense going. So we'll see if St. Mary's continues to ramp up that defense, force some more turnovers for the offense. You know, Anksman, you know, had some good open looks, just not able to knock them down. So we'll see what they do out of this timeout. The leading scorers for each team have four. Anksman has the basketball right here, and Gavin Payne has four for Kenton. Here's Anksman. Pull-up jumper from 17, and the rebound to Ethan Yoder. Halfway down and popped back out on him. Corbin Johnston, Miller, Dawson. Wanted to bounce pass inside. And a high arching shot over traffic by Bushong. Owens has got room to run the right sideline. Chase Turner. And back out to Owens. Yeah, Ethan Yoder doing a good job on Anksman so far, not allowing him to get any easy touches on the ball. Forcing the Rough Riders, a couple other guys to defend, and a foul there. Yeah, it was. Good pass inside to Jace Turner. He spun to the basket and gets to go to the free throw line. Payne has his second foul. Free throw tonight are sponsored by Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food. Fellowship and friends, that's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. Free throws a bit short, Jace Turner. He was one for two in the opening quarter from the free throw line as Noah Payne will enter and give Evan Engstman a break. That free throw is also short. Uncharacteristic for Chase Turner, who's been a good free throw shooter all season long. Yeah, you can see the frustration on his face, kind of shaking his head, going back, not used to missing two free throws. So but now he has to get back on defense. Kenton back on the attack. Dawson Miller spins into the lane. Kick out. This will be Bushong out of the corner. Blaine Bushong has a three-point field goal. Three-point field goal is brought to you by Donovan's Garage this evening. That's his 36th of the year. And all of a sudden, it's just down to a two-point game. Yeah, good ball movement there by the Wildcats. Get the ball quickly over into Bushong's hand. He knocks down the big three. Turner inside. Skip pass, Cobain Owens, step back. Nope, I thought he was going to get a three and didn't. That ball stolen by Yoder. Ethan Yoder head to the rim, and he will draw a foul and has a chance to tie this one up. That kind of wild pass there by Cobain Owens. Good read there by Yoder. Takes it back and opportunity to tie this ball game up. Brennan Steger picks up his first foul this evening, and Yoder will go to the free throw line. 
He is one for two earlier tonight, and he will be shooting Kenton Moose free throws. As Angstman waits at the scores table to check back in. Yoder's second point of the evening. Angstman will return. Chase Turner's turn to get a break. Both big guys will be down for a minute or so this quarter. Yoder's second free throw. Angstman makes his presence felt, snags the rebound. Still a one-point rider league. Coach Hagemeyer calling the set, called the flex set. Steger comes off the screen, gets a three look. Bounces into the arms of Dawson Miller and over to Blaine Bushong. Kenton can take the lead. Good save by Gavin Payne on the ball. It was headed out of bounds. Yoder ball fakes. He goes to the rim. And that pass is stolen by Kobe Owens on a heads up play. And Coach Hagemeyer is going to take a timeout. 5.18 to go in the second. The Riders are up one. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. St. Mary's hasn't scored in a quarter, Josiah. We're about three minutes in. I think that's what Coach wanted a timeout for. Yeah, they've done a really good job of getting some open shots, just haven't been able to knock them down. You know, you like to think they try to find to get, try to get the ball into Engsman's hands here. You know, as I said a little bit earlier, Ethan Yoder doing a good job of limiting his touches, but they got to get him some opportunities with the ball in his hand. That ball stolen by Yoder. Good defensive play by that time. Chase Turner came back in at the timeout break, so St. Mary's has their starting lineup back in the game, as does the Kenton Wildcats. Yoder with a deep three. A deep three for Ethan Yoder. As he nails a Donovan's Garage three-point field goal. Donovan's Garage and St. Mary's can handle any size job from oil changes, simple auto repairs, brakes and tires, to engine work. And transmission work as that shot misses, and we're going to get a rebound that comes into the hands of Gavin Payne, and we're going to get a rider foul. Chase Turner becomes the third rough rider to have a single foul in the game. And we're just seeing a little bit of frustration, I think, on the offensive side of the ball for this rough riders team, taking some quick shots, uncharacteristic of this rough riders team. So we'll see if they can get some stops on the defensive end against this. Wildcats attack. Josiah, you mentioned a little bit of frustration by St. Mary's. Would you think that the opposite is true? Some confidence building perhaps for Kenton as Angstman picks up his second foul. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Kenton just being a little bit more aggressive, attacking the rim, drawing some defenders, kicking the ball out, finding some open shooters. You know, big some big baskets, especially from Ethan Yoder on that last one, a deep three to extend this to a two-point lead. With Evan Angstman picking up his second foul, Brennan Steger will replace him. About halfway through quarter number two. Bushong for three. That one rimmed out. Owens rebounds. And Cobain will be fouled from behind. Dawson Miller will get his first foul. Second of the quarter. And here comes Angston right back in the game. Now Coach Hagemeyer might decide to take him out on some defensive possessions. Don't want him to pick up that third foul. Right back in on this offensive possession. St. Mary's passes over the trap. Kenton drops back into their man-to-man. -man. Three ball. Payne, nope. Rebound, Dawson Miller. Yoder up the sideline. And that ball sails into the backcourt. And... Boy. What you saw was Noah Payne hustling after the basketball, and as he got to it, he stepped on the sideline. Yeah, good hustle there by Payne. Just unfortunately not able to pick it up right away and stepped on the end line. And once again, Engsman out for this defensive possession. 15-13. Kenton is uh, 
put seven points on the board in this quarter. Bushon for three, and he's going to draw a foul. They'll put him in the free throw line for three. Kenton Moose free throws. That goes to Brendan Steger, and now he has a pair of fouls. And Blaine Bushong, who is a 77% free throw shooter, is going to get three free throws. St. Mary's has yet to score. We're four and a half minutes into quarter two. Bushong, good on the first free throw. Four points for him. The winner of this game, as Bushong makes the second of the trifecta, the winner of this game will go to the Liberty Benton District, and they will play on the, the 7th of March against the winner of the game between Elida and Defiance. District finals run the 9th then at 6 p.m. also at Liberty Benton. Here's Bushong again. Rolls in all three of them. He's got six in the game now. The lead goes to five. Hanksman lost his footing, spins to the lane, and left it short. Yoder rebounds. That ball's tipped out of bounds, though, by Turner on a good hustle play. Yeah, it's really been the story of this quarter for this Rough Riders offense. Can't find a way to get a bucket. You would think Hanksman would make that layup, but leaves it a little bit of short, and Kenton goes right back on the attack. Alex Haney will be back into the basketball game. Brendan Steger's got a couple of fouls, and he will sit down. Yoder. Dawson Miller. Steven Piper with the basketball. Haney guarding him. Gavin Payne, bounce pass out. Dawson Miller, patient possession. Wildcat with under three to go. Here in quarter two. Yoder spins into the lane, step back jumper from 15. Rebound, Jace Turner. And we're going to get a foul. That will go to Gavin Payne. And Gavin Payne now has three fouls here with 2.40 to go in the second quarter. Yeah, really a big call there by the officials as Gavin Payne, really the only size for this Kenton Wildcats team. And now he's going to have to go on the benches. Kenton will have to defend without that post player in the middle. Chase Turner, they swing the basketball around. Cobain Owens, they got doubled up inside on Hanksman. Here's a left-handed three that's gonna go up and a nail the three-point field goal by Alex Haney. Now my stat page says he's made two of those in the regular season, he's got one now tonight. Big basket for them. Yeah, because that's going to force Kenton's defense to decide, are they going to continue to double Inksman if they can get someone to knock down some outside shots, which they did on that last possession, to cut it to a two-point game. Kenton lead down to two after that three-point field goal, and we're going to get a timeout. This will be by Ryan Miller. 157 to go before half. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at St. Mary's at the Horseshoe, where our three-point field goal sponsor tonight is Donovan's Garage in St. Mary's. They can handle any size job from oil changes, simple auto repairs, brakes and tires, all the way up to engines and transmission work. We've had three three-point field goals by St. Mary's, a pair of them this evening by Kenton, and Kenton Wildcats are up 18-16, just under two to go in the second quarter. Yeah, it just looks like Kenton continues to hold that momentum here in this game, you know, St. Mary's finding it difficult on the offensive side of the court, but a big shot in that last possession by number 13, Alexander Haney, to cut this lead. So Kenton back with possession. I think Coach Miller called that timeout because he realized how important it is for his team to be in at halftime up. There's a trap on the sideline. Dawson Miller knocked away by Owens, and eventually Jace Turner gets it. Good defensive call coming out of the timeout by Coach Hagemeyer. Owens to the rim. That one spun out on him. Yoda rebounds. It almost looks like there's a lid on this side. Oh, my. For the Rough Riders. A couple 
easy layups that don't go down. So ball goes back to Ken. Coach Hagemeyer gets that one. Defensive stop once again. Cross court pass Steger. And to the rim, Owens again. This time, Cobain Owens finishes at the rim. He's got four in the game. And we're now tied up at 18. Into the corner goes Dawson Miller gets a three block. Hand on it by Noah Payne at 6'3 length. Yeah, it looked like he had a wide yeah. open shot there, but that length comes into play once again. Gets a finger on it, and the ball goes back to St. Mary's. Anxman returns 50.3 to go in the opening half. Steger looking inside to Turner, and he was fouled. That will be the fourth team foul of the quarter on Kenton, so no free throws yet. Steven Piper gets his second. We've already got Gavin Payne on the bench with three. Ryder basketball out of bounds on the side with 41 seconds to go. Brent Steger is the inbounder. Here's Angstman. Flare screen for Angstman. He gets a three look. That was a pretty play. Yeah, we haven't seen that much tonight. Him getting a little bit of space, and once he does, just a smooth shot knocks it down. Here's Bush on with a deep three. Who hit it out of bounds? That will stay with Kenton. Donovan's Garage sponsoring our three-point field goals this evening. 23.5. It's been a nice rally here at the end of the quarter for St. Mary's. Let's see if they double that first pass again like they have on the first two possessions coming out of the timeout. Alex Haney will be in the basketball game replacing Angstrom with those two fouls. There's a double team. Yoder, nice pass inside, and Dawson Miller gets a block from behind by Turner. Riders can get the last shot of the opening half. Yeah, good rotation by the Riders defense to get that block, and now seven seconds to go. Noah Payne in the lane. Steger gets a three. Another big basket. Brennan Steger has his second three-point field goal of the opening half. A big rally at the end of the half. And St. Mary's will take a lead in a break of 24-18. 60 minutes in the book. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Back at St. Mary's, our scoreboard today is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Gulfus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mark Schein, Josiah Stober here. It's halftime. Josiah with 1.57 to go in the second quarter. Kent was up 18-16. They called timeout, and the last eight points of the quarter went the way of St. Mary's. Yeah, some really big shots. A uh, big one at the end of that quarter from Brennan Steger, but we also saw Evan Engsman get a wide open shot there. You know, hasn't been easy for him tonight. Had those two fouls, had to kind of come in, switch on and off for the offensive defensive possessions, but uh, you know, really a, a spurt there that really pushed this lead for this Rough Riders team. Kenton has quarter scores of eight and 11. They are led in scoring by Blaine Bushong. He's got six, Ethan Yoder has five. St. Mary's with quarter scores of 13 and 11. Evan Angstman has seven. Brendan Steger has their first sub off the bench, has six. Something else to watch for. Number 25, Gavin Payne for Kenton has three personal fouls. He's back in the lineup right now. This is Yoder. Here's a trap on the wing. Down the corner it goes. Steven Piper, shot rolls around. And saved into the hands of Noah Payne. And that's stolen right back again. And to the rim, and an opportunity for an and one for Stephen Piper. Yeah, great play there by Stephen Piper. Unaware was Coban, Cobain Owens. Gets his hand on the ball, goes up through some contact, finishes, and now opportunity for an old-fashioned three-point play. I missed who the foul was called on, but back to the free throw line for the uh, Moose. Free throws this evening. The Moose and Kenton sponsoring our free throws. 
That one does not go for Piper, but they get the rebound and we get a floater inside. It's going to be wiped off by an offensive foul. Foul will go to Dawson Miller. Dawson Miller has two. And it'll be 24-20 in favor of St. Mary's. Kobe Owens and now over into this corner to Noah Payne. Looks inside to Anksman. Hanksman comes off a screen. And then Jace Turner talked about the fact that St. Mary's had 10 made three-point field goals in their win in the regular season. They've got five tonight. This will be a three ball that will go for Noah Payne. He's got a pair of those this evening. Our three-point field goals are sponsored by Donovan's Garage. And that trap of the wing pass has really bothered Kenton. Here's a drive to the goal and a score by Gavin Payne. He's got six in the game now. Yeah, good take there by Gavin Payne against Jace Turner. A little bit undersized there, but takes it strong to the rim, makes the two. Kobe Owens posted up inside, and his ball goes off the hands of Alex Haney. This uh, trap play that uh, St. Mary's has been running, that was Dean Smith's stuff at North Carolina a long, long time ago. And St. Mary's is running it to perfection right now. Yeah, and we see St. Mary's with that length being able to disrupt this Kent. And there's another, there's another touch one. by yep. Jace Turner. Exactly. Turner gets the steal. As the defense has caused a lot of problems. Did he step on the line? He did. Shot didn't go for Owens anyway. Five-point lead, Riders. Two minutes into the second half. Yoder, Ethan to the corner it goes. Here's a three. Battle for the rebound. Yoder secures it, gets it away from Jace Turner. Blaine Bushon gets a three look, and he nails it. He's got a pair of those this evening. Another Donovan got garage three-point field goal. He's got nine in the game. Yeah, both teams benefiting from these extra possessions here in this third quarter. Both teams knocking down a three off of the offensive glass. Chase Turner, top of the circle, looks inside. It's a two-point St. Mary's lead. Now Turner posts up. Good pass to Hayne, and he finishes inside. That was well done. Yeah, Jace Turner making a good pass to Haney, cutting to the basket, able to knock down the easy layup on the backside. Alex Haney with five in the game now. That ball's tipped loose by Haney, but he was on the end line when he did so. Dawson Miller will be the inbounder. Steven Piper. He's harassed out front. Piper gets a pass, and we're going to get a blocking foul. Yeah, Gavin Payne being aggressive here in this third quarter. As you mentioned, three fouls, but attacking the rim. Opportunity now here to cut this lead down to one. Haney gets called for the foul, and we're to the free throw line for Kent Moose free throws. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at KentonMoose428.com. And we're going to stop for a moment because Corbin, uh, Corbin Johnston wanted to get into the free throw lane circle and also wanted to come into the basketball game with Brendan Steger. And so the official took the ball back, so that could take place. Nine points in the game now for the 73% free throw shooter, Gavin Payne. And that takes the lead to one for St. Mary's. Anksman with three. His second made three-point field goal of Donovan's garage. Three-point field goal gives him 10 in the game, pushes the lead back to four. To the corner it goes. Piper for three. It's turning into a shootout this quarter. Yeah, Kenton doing a good job of answering that three by De Evan Engsman. Piper finds himself open in the corner and splashes home the three. Noah Payne, now Engsman again. Here's Turner inside, and he powers inside and makes a really nice pass. There's two assists for him to Noah Payne. He, Payne has eight 
and we're going to get a timeout. St. Mary's, 4.15 to go in the third. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We've had a barrage of three-point field goals in the quarter, and our three-point field goal sponsor is Donovan's Garage in St. Mary's. They can handle any size job from oil changes, simple auto repairs, brakes and tires, to engine and transmission work. Well, kind of a low-scoring opening half. It's bombs away here in this quarter, Josiah. Yeah, both teams finding a little bit of space here in the third quarter. As you said, knocking down some big threes. You know, we've seen for the St. Mary's, Offense, once they can get Anksman on a little of that flare screen, he's knocked down a couple of big threes, but Kenton's been right back to answer. Kenton has outscored St. Mary's 13 to 10 in a quarter. That was a St. Mary's timeout. Piper trying to get inside. Here's a nice pass inside. And that shot's blocked, though, by Turner. Owens. Noah Payne from 17. Turner with another rebound. He's having a good quarter. Owens inside, and his left-handed shot doesn't go. Yoder gets the rebound. Yeah, Angsman was wide open there on the wing. His teammate didn't see him, was looking for one more reversal. Ends up into the hands of the Wildcats. Bushong, pull-up runner from inside the lane. That ball's tipped up by Yoder, and there's another rebound by Jace Turner. He is having a really nice quarter. Yeah, hasn't found much on the That's offensive correct. end, but doing a little bit of everything. A couple blocks, a couple assists, being a big rebounder there in the paint. So making his presence known in other ways, especially except on the offensive score sheet. Yeah, Gavin Payne just picked up his fourth foul. That's key for Kenton. He's had a couple of blocks, a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists. One of those guys doing a lot of things, not putting the ball in the basket, but getting other people mm -hmm. the ball and the opportunity to do so. Anxman with his team up three. Well, yeah, Turner doubled up inside. Steger in the basketball game. Skip pass. Ball fake. And scoring inside is Alex Haney. He's got seven in the game. Good pass again. Riders moving the basketball well this quarter. Yeah, Riders being unselfish, moving the ball side to side, finding their teammates for some easy buckets. There's once another again. block. Owens with that one. Turner secured the rebound on the loose ball, and the foul goes to Dawson Miller now has three fouls. Yeah, it just seems like Jace Turner's in the right place at the right time. And this time, it's going to be a Ryan Miller timeout. 2.48 to go here in quarter three. The Riders up five. You're watching high school basketball WOSN. You can visit our website, WSN.TV, for scores, standings, access to our broadcast schedule, and the WSN apps. Mark Schein, Josiah Stober. It will be St. Mary's basketball out of bounds. Each team has now called two timeouts. Jace Turner with the basketball. Angstman. Sager's had a good game. Here's Turner. Angsman works the lane, and the ball's tipped loose from him. And finding the ball inside and scoring is Noah Payne. He's become a double-figure scorer now with 10. Yeah, Noah Payne found the ball, bounced right to him off the Kenton player. Easy bucket for the Rough Riders. Piper working inside. Yoder wants a three, and he got it. Ethan Yoder, a pair of three-point field goals for him now. He's got eight. Donovan Garage is our three-point field goal sponsor this evening. Cuts the lead to four. Yeah, each time it looks like St. Mary's going to run away with this, Kenton answers and. Good take there by Cobain Owens. Blaine Bushong will get his first foul. Team's fourth. Now, was it a shooting foul or not? 
It is. I wasn't sure whether that was a pass or a shot, but Owens will go to the free throw line. He made a pair of free throws back in the opening quarter. He's an 80% free throw shooter on the season. Got five points in the game now. Noah Payne gets a break. Alex Haney back in the game. Each team has played a consistent six guys throughout this one. Owens again. Puts his team up six. Kent Moose sponsors our free throws this evening. Wish on. Under pressure. Good switch out front. That's a really nice defensive play by Alex Haney. Steger gets it in the corner. Haney to the rim. And he is having a really nice basketball game in this quarter. He's got nine points total, six in the quarter. Good hustle play right there. Yeah, you like to see players like that really getting after it on the defensive end, getting on the floor on those loose balls. Bushong's floater goes over traffic. He's got 11 in the game. Averages eight a game. 60 seconds to go, third quarter. Haney lobs it inside. A nice pass to Turner, but blocked out of bounds by Stephen Piper. Yeah, good help side defense by Piper coming on the backside, knocking the ball away from Turner. Haven't seen St. Mary's really go inside much today. See if they can use that size advantage here going into the, fin the end of this third quarter. Turner looks inside. Oh, he's got height advantage. Skip pass around. Turner. Now Steger into the lane. Little jumper rolls out, but he will get free throw opportunities. And Dawson Miller now joins teammate Gavin Payne with four fouls into the free throw line. For Kenton Moose free throws goes Brennan Steger, who's got two made three-point field goals in the game. And had that free throw go hard on him. Comes number 24, Trenton DeLong into the game for Kenton. He's a 5'9 junior. As the foul situation's mounted a bit for Coach Ryan Miller in this quarter. Splits the pair. Steger with seven points in the game. Sudden the lead is growing to seven. There's that trap on the wing again with great size. DeLong's on the floor, and the arrow will favor St. Mary's. So there's that trap again. It's bothered him. Yeah, they've had a lot of success tonight. Just a quick trap early on in the possession, forcing Kenton to speed up a little bit, cause some trouble, and once again, another turnover there. Ball goes back to St. Mary's. Noah Payne and his 10 points enter the basketball game with 27.1 to go. And one would think would be a last shot possession for the Riders. Steger with the basketball, and now Cobain Owens. High screen from Turner. Owens right to the rim, gives it to Turner. That was really pretty done, pretty well done. Chase Turner has just three points in the game. That was a nice pass from Owens. And Anksman, what do we got? Held ball with 4.3 to go that will stay with Kenton. Alex Haney will re-enter. Takes Anksman's place here to defend the end of the quarter. Corbin Johnston with the basketball on the sideline. Bush on. And the quarter will come to an end. Good for you. At the end of the quarter, the Riders will take a 45-36 lead to the fourth. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. We're back at the Horseshoe at St. Mary's with a 21 to 16 quarter. St. Mary's will take a nine point lead to the fourth. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. Josiah, the Riders had 24 at the halftime. They've had 21 in that third quarter, eight minute spell. Yeah, well, it really all started on the defensive end for this Rough Riders team. 
taking a couple charges, uh, getting on the on the floor on some loose balls, you know, some block shots, but then being unselfish on the offensive end, driving to the rim, finding that open teammate has really helped them kind of kickstart their offense here in the third quarter. This is Angstrom with the basketball, and then it goes into the corner to Brendan Steger. Off the screen, they go to Jace Turner. Gavin Payne's back in the basketball game, and Gavin's right there trying not to get foul number five. And the travel call will go against Jace Turner. Yeah, St. Mary's trying to run that same play they ran at the end of the third quarter. Jace Turner coming off, uh, giving a screen and then rolling, but it ends up traveling. Ball goes back to Ken. Ball's tipped loose on the sideline. Ethan Yoder's had a nice basketball game. That ball stolen by Noah Payne. Noah in a race to the rim. A little bit hard. Shipped back out to Turner. And now Angstman gets a three. Steger gets a rebound. And Cobain Owens, the senior, says, we're going to set up and run set here. This is Owens as he comes off a screen by Turner. Gavin Payne works the lane. Owens to the rim, and going to be an and one for Cobain Owens. Eight plus a free throw coming. Foul goes to Stephen Piper. He's got three. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at KentonMoose428.com. Cobain Owens is now five for five at the free throw line this evening for nine. And St. Mary shooting seven for 11 as we get a timeout here by Coach Miller. That we do. Game's getting away from the Wildcats. Coach needs a timeout. There's 6.45 to go. White Riders 48, Kenton 36. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at St. Mary's. Our three-point field goal sponsor this evening is Donovan's Garage in St. Mary's. They can handle any size job from oil changes, simple auto repairs, brakes and tires, to engine and transmission work. Donovan's Garage in St. Mary's. Timeout, Kenton. That is their third as they trail by 12. And it will be Kenton basketball on the sideline. Let's keep going back, Josiah. It was 18-16 Kenton with just under two minutes to go in quarter number two, and the Riders have just exploded since that time, helped by the half-court trap. Here's a 1-3-1 half-court trap with a 6-7 angstman on top. Yeah, Coach Hagemeyer switching it up out of this timeout, making Kenton adjust to this length, this long 1-3-1. And then they trap into corners, and that's going to face a turnover. Boy, uh, Coach was right on that one. He comes out of the timeout. They haven't played that the whole game, and they, they got a turnover out. That was a really nice call defensively by Coach Hagemeyer. Well, it's just so hard to play against that length. It is. You know, 6'7", six, 6'7", seven, six, seven, six, just these long athletic guards and big men. And once again, force another turnover. Owens. To the rim and finishing at the rim is Noah Payne. He's now got 12 in the game, a third team all conference player. Yeah, good rip through there by Noah Payne. Just finds himself wide open and another turnover yeah. by the Wildcats. And there's a Turner with his hands on yet another basketball. To the corner it goes to Payne and back out on top. Steger, Angstman with a wide open three, short. But the rebound comes to Jace Turner. Man, he's just been a little bit of everywhere yeah, he, tonight. He has. Of course, he was battling inside with Gavin Payne, and Gavin's got four fouls, had to back up a little bit, but still a nice rebound. Screen and roll, Anksman. And Anksman's shot is short, and the rebound effort. Payne went and got it. Who's the foul on? Anksman? It is, Evans third. Payne did a good job to defend without fouling. He did, just kept his arms straight up. Officials look for that, and Inksman tried to shoot over him, and 
Left it a little bit short, and Payne did a good job of boxing out. Angstman is the first Rough Rider to have three fouls in the game. That's their first of quarter number four. Piper into the lane. Here's a three from Gavin Payne that goes. Gavin Payne's got 12 in the game now as we have another Donovan's Garage three-point field goal. Big basket cuts it to 11. Angstman on to, out to Turner. Cobain Owens and Turner. Angstman bounce pass inside. Owens ball fakes, goes to the rim and scores. He's now got 11. And we're going to get a Dan Hagemeyer timeout. We're going to keep it here. I'm just looking through my score sheet a little bit, uh, uh, Josiah, about the balance. I see Noah Payne with 12, Cobain Owens with 11, Alex Haney with 9, Brendan Stagger with 7, Evan Angstrom with 10. The balance has been outstanding right there for St. Mary's tonight. Well, yeah, and it's really been, you know, those really those role players for St. Mary's showing up, especially after that timeout. We've talked about it a couple times tonight. Just really showing up, being aggressive, attacking the rim. You know, Evan Aikman has 10 points, but he really hasn't done anything easy tonight. They've done a good job of kind of corralling him. And Jace Turner, the second leading scorer, we've talked about him tonight, has done a little bit of everything besides put the ball in the net. Has not had a whole lot of scoring opportunities, but instead has been a facilitator and done a very good job with that. Just three points in the quarter here. We played... Uh, Three plus in this particular quarter. That was the three point field goal by Gavin Payne. So it's been a real struggle to put points on the board here in the half for Kenton. Well, it's really been just the turnovers for Kenton in this second half. Haven't been able to figure out this trap, that 1 3 1 that Coach Hagemeyer called out of that timeout. Just been difficult. A lot of turnovers. And so, you know, not a whole lot of points for this Wildcats team. If you're looking for a game reset, each team has two timeouts remaining in the basketball game. Each team has committed only one foul here in quarter number four. And the possession arrow favors Kenton. Blaine Bush on. Here's the 1-3-1 trap again. Ethan Yoder. Yoder with a deep three. Into the hands, coming the ball comes into the hands of Noah Payne. Well, St. Mary's will be in no rush here. With the lead here, deciding to take some time. Want to get a good shot, run a couple sets here. Owens off a Turner screen. And he throws another pass inside and yet another assist, this time to a cutting Noah Payne. Well, what a nice asset to have for this St. Mary's team. Just have your big man being able to facilitate making good passes. Corbin Johnston misses on the backside rebound, however, comes into the hands of Ethan Yoder. And Ethan Yoder becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. 3.40 to go. 13-point rider lead here at home. Angstman looks, throws a cross court to Owens, who saves it. Angstman goes to the rim and will draw a foul and go to the free throw line. That foul is on Stephen Piper, and he becomes the third Wildcat with four fouls. Angstman will shoot Kenton Moose free throws. 83% free throw shooter on the season. He has not been to the line yet this evening. Makes that one. That's point 11 for him. And into the game will be Dawson Miller, who has four fouls also. Payne, Miller, and Piper all have four fouls for the black and red Kenton Wildcats. That free throw misses, and Ethan Yoder rebounds. Ethan Yoder has battled tonight at 6'4". He's played against a lot of big players from St. Mary's. He's battled hard to see. That ball is tipped loose. Owens is out with Angstman. And goes to the rim and rolls it in. Cobain Owens with 13. Yeah, Cobain Owens just being patient there. Looked like he was going to pull it out. Just another handle of the ball, but good job by Gavin Payne to corral that ball. And throws a really nice pass to Ethan Yoder. That gets a basket on the board. Yoder's got points 11 and 12 thanks to the dime from Gavin Payne. Haney in the corner. 
We're on the opposite side of the gym at the top, and we hear Coach Hagerman yell, pull it back out. <laughs> Noah Payne with the basketball, working the lane. Alex Haney wanted to go to the rim and could not. And now Cobain Owens, they're getting very patient, and we're down to the two-minute mark. And Kenton only has two fouls on the board here in this quarter, so we'll see if they get a little bit more aggressive. Try to get a couple turnovers yeah, as long from the as Rough Riders. As long as it's the right guy, they can be yeah. as aggressive as they would like right here. They got a couple guys on the floor with four fouls. Here comes a trap from Bushong, but Owens went right around it and then lost control of the basketball. To the other end we go with Stephen Piper. He finds Yoder in the corner. Trying to bounce past it inside was Gavin Payne, but it went off the leg of Jace Turner. Brendan Steger into the basketball game. Alex Haney will sit down with nine points. Payne with a jumper out of the corner, and there's Yoder with another rebound. Ethan Yoder, 6'4", senior for Kenton. Push on deep three, that's blocked by Turner to Gavin Payne. Behind the back pass to Yoder, and Yoder goes after his own rebound and scores. Hustle play to Ethan Yoder. He's got 14 in the game, and his coach will take a timeout with 118 to go. And that will be timeout number four. This is team trails by 12. Next week, Josiah, it is the 10 and 10 week on WOSN. It is district week for the boys next week, regional week for the girls, and depending on how many teams we have playing and where and all that, every night, Tuesday through Saturday, you'll be able to catch a basketball game on either WOSN or WTLW, one of our favorite weeks next week, yep. the 10 and 10 week on WOSN, WTLW. Yeah, it'll be a lot of really good basketball you know, expecting a lot of these local teams, you know, to be competing. Hopefully some teams from out of the area we'll see also. Uh, you but know, it's an exciting time. I, I think that uh, th this might be my favorite week. Now, obviously, we like regional week and state week and all that. But next week, a lot of teams we know and cover all year long match up with each other. Some great matchups in the district semis and finals this week. So it's a really fun week uh, for us at WSN, WTLW, and we invite you to join us. There's 118 to go in this one. The St. Mary's Rough Riders with a 12-point lead. And inbounding the basketball is Noah Payne. He throws it to midcourt to Turner and then to Angstman. Got so much size, they just throw over pressure. It's the St. Mary's team that's won four in a row and seven out of their last eight on the turnover there, however. As we approach 60 seconds left, Dawson Miller. To the corner goes Gavin Payne trying to get loose and cannot. The ball's tipped out of bounds by Owens. Yeah, we've just seen that so many times tonight. Just these long arms from St. Mary's just getting a hand on it, not allowing Kenton to really get in any flow on the offensive side. Alex Haney in for Brennan Steger. Bushong gets cut off as he tried to get to the rim by Noah Payne. Stay tuned when this one comes to an end. We have our Stolly Hustle Award winner and postgame show to the rim. And finishing with the one hand is Noah Payne. He's got 16 now. Pushes the lead to 14. Here's a pass inside. Miller shots blocked out of bounds by Owens. 6-1 guard got up and rejected that one with 25.8 to go. You know, in this commercial break we got coming up, we got to figure out a Stolly Hustle Award winner, and I don't know who it's going to be. <laughs> Gavin Payne scores. Points 13 and 14 for him tonight. Here's a pass ahead, and Haynes says, I'm just going to back it out. That's a pretty classy move. You know, he could have gone in the rim and tapped yep. on two more and said, nope, we have enough. I'm just going to let this one come to an end. That's a really classy move by that young man. St. Mary's will take a 59 to 47 victory over the Kenton Wildcats here in this sectional final game. Josiah, I'll be back with post game show and the Sally Hustle Award winner after this. 
You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at St. Mary's Memorial High School to the Horseshoe, where St. Mary's has defeated Kenton tonight in the sectional final game, 59-47. Josiah, we talked about several different bodies this evening. We decided to come up tonight with our Stolly Hustle Award winner, and you can check out highlights of Stolly Hustle Award winner on our WOSN YouTube page. And tonight we decided to go with Cobain Owens. Yeah, Cobain Owens did a little bit of everything, especially in that second half when there was this surge of offense from this Rough Riders team. He was kind of the one with the ball in his hands, you know, made some really big shots, went five for five from the free throw line, you know, really attacked the rim, was aggressive, had a couple big assists, kickouts to some of his teammates for some open shots, but he becomes our Stolly Hustle Award winner for tonight. The Ken Wildcats ended this season with 11 wins and 12 losses. They had quarter scores tonight of 8, 11, 16, and 13. They put uh, four players in the scorebook this evening. Ethan Yoder and Gavin Payne each had 14. Blaine Bushong had 11, and Stephen Piper had eight tonight for them. St. Mary's, they will move on to the district semis next week. They will go to 17 and 6. They had quarter scores of 13, 11, 21, and 14. They also had a very balanced scoring evening this tonight. Noah Payne had 16. We mentioned Cobain Owens with 13, 10 for Evan Angston, 9 for Alex Haney, uh, 7 for Brendan Steiger, and 3 for Jace Turner, who did a whole lot more, Josiah, than have just three points tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the man you want to talk about hustling did a little bit of everything except for put the ball in the basket, but with the rebounding, especially on the defensive glass, but then just those assists. He had mm -hmm. a couple assists tonight were just great passes, finding his teammates for easy baskets. St. Mary's will go on to the Liberty Benton District on uh, the Thursday next week. They will play the winner of Elida and Defiance. That will be the 6 o'clock game. The district finals on Saturday at 6 p.m. also at Liberty Benton. We want to thank our sponsors this evening. That would be the scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Our free throw sponsor tonight was Kenton Moose and Family Center. And our three-point sponsor tonight was Donovan's Garage. The athletic director here, Mr. Jim Holman, got us all set up. Jacob O'Neill did all the technical work and camera work here at the facility. And Megan Sherrick will edit this together back at the station on Beatty Road. I want to thank them for all their effort. Josiah, you too as well. St. Mary's moves on into the districts with a 59-47 win over Kenton. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN. <laughs>